Hello again, this is Dr. Tom with a postscript to my uh, Wheel Dynamics 2 uh, MERM Instructional Companion where I'm going to talk a little bit about the, the result that we got uh, on the last slide. Okay, on the last slide we had come down to where we uh, had the solution for the acceleration of the center of a wheel uh, that was driven by a torque at its axle and we had this expression and then we had the result for the acceleration of the center uh, of, of a wheel that was being pushed or pulled, uh, that expression. And uh, I sort of said, well, can we compare these? Well, I multiplied r over r and got the two denominators uh, equal. And then, of course, that, that said, well, you can cancel those and came up with the, the wonderful result that uh, the torque T was equal to P times R. Uh, well, as I put there, uh, that, that's, too, that's too good to be true because what I failed to, uh, to point out is that I was making the assumption, uh, probably very incorrectly, that all of these things that are in the denominator were the same for both wheels. Uh, the same uh, I about its center, which might be the same, and R might be the same, uh, but there's a weight uh, at each, each of those, and it's unlikely that those would be the same for uh, both the front and rear wheel. It would be very unlikely that they would be the same. So um, this result um, uh, has, has way too many uh, qualifications to it to be something that uh, you want to uh, take to the bank. So this is, this is maybe carrying the algebra maybe one step too far. And uh, well, that sometimes hap happens uh, uh, with, uh, with when you do these kinds of uh, last minute things here. So just wanted to correct that and get you to, to realize that uh, this may not be something that you want to remember. So thank you.